You know, it's exciting for someone like a little school like us to be able to go to state. And everyone was excited about it. It's really cool getting to just hear everybody that like is paying attention to what you've done and like what you're doing and just knowing that you have that many people like cheering you on. Just overwhelming support. This really makes you feel good and makes you want to go up there and do well and it was just an overwhelming experience. You're at a school, you everyone congratulates you, but then you're still like in the back of your head, like we still got work to do. The stage for everything you guys have done for us, all of the virtual community, the stage you guys. We'd talked about this season since 2013 when Brock was a seventh grader and Owen and Blake and Caden and Tanner were fifth graders and Curtis and Jarrett were sixth graders. And all of us are best friends. We've grown up together. We'd all be golfing together and just playing our best and having fun. This was it. This was the season that we knew would potentially have our best team. We knew it was a tough golf course because Brock Blake and I have played it before the previous year. At first you kind of walk on, you kind of feel like you got like a little bit of like swagger. You're like, hey, I'm at the state tournament, like this is like as big as it gets. We got to the course and I was like, this is awesome. We knew it was going to be very cold outside. We just had to mentally prepare ourselves. Five years we've waited for this day and now we're here. So let's go out and have fun and just enjoy it. Curtis, you're going to lead us off. Set the pace for us, man. Set the pace. These guys will follow. You go, we go. We came in there as the fifth best score, and that was our goal was to stay in that place. But we knew that if we went in and played well, that maybe we could make some noise and try to get up there. I was really nervous, but I mean, I just went out there and tried to play my best. got off the first tee and I hit a good shot. All after that, the nerves kind of went away. When I saw my family there and my parents, like some people I wasn't even expecting to show up and I was like, oh gosh. On the tee from Crooksville, Owen Kearney. I mean, there was a couple of times where I like put my hands out and I was just shaking, like I couldn't stop. It was just really nerve-wracking. I was pretty confident. Well, I've been playing well the past couple of weeks, you know, at our sectional and district tournament. In the practice round, I played really well. I just knew that I needed to have a good putting week to play well. This was very exciting. Not too many people have done this. It's just fun being out there on the golf course with your best friends. I bogeyed the first four holes, which is an okay start since the conditions. Now I thought the course was set up fair, tough but fair. You know, the cliche is everybody plays those holes, everybody plays the same golf course. The weather was cold but everybody's playing in the cold. I birdied the six and that really got my confidence going.
My putting really killed me my first round. I wasn't expecting the greens to be as fast as they were. That was the most difficult course I've ever played. A lot of the times, like the short par threes weren't short. They were like 200 yards. And so it kind of throw you off about what club you should use. I think the first day was just adjusting to the surroundings and everything. I had a couple pars, lots of bogeys. I saw him hit a lot of good quality shots. When I put it in the fairway, I was able to put it on the green and get up there and putt, maybe make a couple two putts. I felt pretty good about my front nine. I came in at 39, which was a pretty good score for that front nine for the day and everything because of how cold and windy it was. And then I birdied 10 right away. So it was, I was two over going into 11. Yeah, every time coach would come up to me and pull up in his car, I'd be like, how's everybody else doing? What's going on? You gotta let me end on some numbers. I was realizing like, hey, I gotta like try to finish today because there's always tomorrow. And I didn't know what everyone else was doing out there. I really want him to do well for it since it's a senior year. It's always windy up there because it's just wide open. Fifteen, I kind of had, kind of fell apart a little bit. I felt like I was doing everything right off the tee and in the fairway to get myself on the green. I just knew that I needed to up my putting a little bit more. I couldn't get my putts to fall. That was my only problem. Everything else was awesome. I was hitting everything straight and chipping very well, close to the pin. You know, a lot of good things came out of the first round and you know, yeah, we were a few shots higher than what we wanted to be, but um, with all things considered, you know, like I said, we're at the state tournament, and whatever happened, happened. I didn't think we did too bad. I think, like, the average score was 359. All of us were really kind of disappointed because we thought we could have played a little bit better. I mean, we were there. That was our goal all year long, to get to the state tournament. So we were there, and just we were happy to be there. Going into day two, after seeing where we were after day one, it was like, let's go have fun. I thought we could do better day two. It was fun no matter how we did in the tournament. We just kind of wanted to go in and enjoy it. I mean, 
We weren't really in the best position to win, so we were just kind of there to, you know, experience it. For me, it was like, this is gonna be your last time out on the course as a team for Kirksville. You're at the state tournament, like, go have fun. Crowder. Well, I told him just to try to keep the ball in play. The golf course was going to play longer, it was windy, it was colder. Just try to stay calm, just try to enjoy the moment. Because, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, 50 years down the road, you're going to talk about being there. You're not going to talk about the two or three holes you played bad or necessarily what your score was. It was about being at the state tournament. He just kind of told us to go out there and have fun and just enjoy it. So that's what we did. Yeah, the pin positions were a lot tougher on Saturday too. And I just kind of remembered like these greens are a lot faster than they look. I had to change a little bit after day one, realizing that my putting wasn't all that great. And it was even colder the second day. It was so cool. I've played high school golf all four years and maybe not being able to ever play competitive golf again, it was like something I really just wanted to take in and realize like, hey, this is your last time. but I felt like I played a lot better on day two. I felt like I putted better and was able to put the ball in better positions. Second day, my putting was on point. I think we showed that like you can win, that you can make it to the state tournament even if you're from Kirksville. Uh, I think it boosted everyone up like hey, Kirksville's you know, starting to do something, starting to make some noise in the MVO. I hit the back nine and I was like, well heck, this is you know, kind of my last round for my sophomore year and then it kind of hit me like, heck, this is my last round ever with my brother. I just tried to enjoy myself around the golf course. I really tried to take everything in, see all the people that are there cheering for you. I'm gonna miss Brock a lot because he brought a bunch of laughs and stuff to the team. Brock was probably one of my best friends and best companions on the golf team. He was a leader. All the boys rallied around him. He set the table for this program as a term I've used for a long time.
once in a lifetime is how I would put it. It's pretty amazing to go to state, and especially when it's been 36 years since your golf team has ever been there. They have a really good shot at making it next year just because of the talent that we have that's still there. I think that we're going to have a good golf team for the next like five, six years. It's no different than what this year was. We want to go back to state. I mean, top 10 in the state's pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of them how we did in the state tournament. We weren't really disappointed at all. I mean, we still felt like it was a good successful season. It was satisfying, you know, top 10 in the state. You know, there's 230 Division three programs that play boys golf. Um, you know, we're pretty proud of that. Um, coming from a small rural area, um, we were very proud of the 10th place finish. We were 10th in the state. That's pretty sweet. I mean, we beat everyone in our district nine winner sectional. Oh, I was sad, but I was happy of how the season ended overall. Glad that Brock got the experience going to the state tournament for his last year. I hit my drive, and walking up to my ball, I kind of thought, like, hey, this is your last hole. I wanted to finish it good and, like, hey, try to make par, you know, and get out of here on a good note. After I hit my second shot, walking up to the green, seeing all the family, the friends, all the people I've been around my entire life standing there waiting for me. It was started to get emotional, and then as soon as I was finished, seeing everybody come up to me and give me hugs, and there was my mom like started crying and stuff. You're going to miss his leadership, and just to he's just a great person um, to be around. The personality, you know, not just the golf, but um, the type of person that he is. He wants everybody to do well. You know, he wanted this as bad for them as he did for himself.